Are you ready to ditch your paper planner, but you're afraid that you can't replace that paper planner that you love so much? I believe the advantages to going digital make it all worth it. If you're ready to make the switch to digital planning, Google Calendar and Google Tasks can replace your paper calendar and paper task lists, and in some ways I think are even better. Let's learn how. In Google Calendar, you have a variety of ways to view your calendar. You can see it yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. And there's also a schedule view, which is like an agenda or a list. Recurring events like book club every Monday are easily added and individual events can be moved or deleted if needed. Moving events on Google Calendar is one of my favorite things to do because it is so easy. You just literally drag and drop the event to another day or earlier or later. You can do this on the computer or on the phone. In Google Calendars, you can also have and view multiple calendars at once, overlaid on top of each other. You can import and view multiple calendars that are interesting, such as professional sports leagues, your kids' sports clubs, fine arts calendars, book clubs, and more. You can also view your spouse's calendar or children's calendars if they have a Google account, and they can be shared with you so you can see what they're up to. The advantage of separate calendars is that you can toggle them on or off at any time. So when you're in work mode, you don't have to look at all that family stuff. And then when you're in family mode, you can turn them back on again. Google Calendar is also helpful for time blocking. When you are long-term planning, you can create one calendar that is an ideal week to set some goals on how you would like to ideally spend your time. Then when actually planning your week, you're going to add actual time blocks and events to your calendar to designate time for certain tasks. After you're done with the week or the day, I do it every day as I go, I adjust the calendar events to reflect the actual time that I have spent on the event. If you have a Google Workspace account, whether for business or school, you can use Time Insights, if it's turned on, to easily track how you actually spend your time on your main calendar. I'll explain that in another video. Google Tasks are different than calendar events in two ways. Calendar events actually block time on your calendar and have a start and end time. Whereas tasks do not take up time on your calendar, but instead they appear on a separate tasks calendar that can be toggled on or off. Each task can be checked off when it is completed. Google Tasks also has recurring tasks that can be added easily, such as weekly trash night, order medicine monthly, or backup computer. Even these can also, just like events, be moved on the calendar as needed. Google Tasks phone app means that you can add tasks on the go as you think of them when you're out and about or not near your computer. You can do your weekly brain dump straight into tasks on the computer or phone so that if you want to, you can sort them into categorized lists, add due dates when needed, and add stars for what needs to get done this week. In addition, you can either view and check off your tasks in the phone app, the sidebar, or in your calendar. To learn even more about Google Calendar, register for my Google Core Apps 1.0 or 2.0, beginning or intermediate, or register for my Google Tasks class. Each class contains videos and hands-on activities to ensure you use what you learn. Plus, I'm available online within the class to answer any questions you may have as you try new things. I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions.